actually, I didn't drink last reunion. Didn't drink at all. Actually, you know what? I think I actually took a shot. Welcome to Defend Yourself. Today's contestant is Real Housewife of Dallas, Cameron Westcott, to tackle the tough truth. I think they would take us down. Talk about her trauma. I will never look at a white ping pong ball the same way ever again. And serenade us? Thailand, Thailand, where everyone gets a baby elephant. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Perfect. Question one, which is more triggering, ping pong balls or Linfinity dress? Ping pong balls. Definitely ping pong balls. Defend. That was an experience of a lifetime and I don't think I ever want to experience that one again. (laughs) I will never look at a white ping pong ball the same way ever again. I think if I'm gonna be around one, it's gonna have to be a different color so it'll distract me. But yeah, Mm -mm. I had to dodge a lot of those white ping pong balls in Thailand. Yeah. um, Well, I actually ended up thinking, you know, she was trying to do it to be nice. But then once the comments about how the dress was made and how it should, it should be this, it should be that she needed to do this. And she started coming back with all these negative comments and I really started feeling bad for Leanne because she wasn't looking for constructive criticism in that moment in front of everybody and this wasn't a business meeting. So I really did feel bad for Leanne because no one deserves to have their product bashed in front of other women or in front of anyone in general. And what about the other iconic Thailand moment, the baby elephant song? Okay, and it's so funny because this song literally was created pretty much 14 years ago. And never in a million years would I think when I went back to Thailand, I would be singing this again. Never in a million years. And my husband and I made it up just because we saw so many baby elephants. And it was just hilarious. And somehow I ended up singing it and now everyone loves it. So, okay, I'll start off for you guys. Okay. Thailand. Thailand, where everyone gets a baby elephant. Would you rather not be allowed to drink during the reunions or never wear pink again? Never drink in the reunions. Defend. And actually, I didn't drink last reunion. Didn't drink at all. Actually, you know what? I think I actually took a shot. I think I took one shot before I went on stage, but that was it. It was one shot, that was it. There were, other than that, there was nothing else. I believe I took a shot of vodka and it was like a little travel size. And I think travel sizes are hilarious because they're usually a really cheap brand, but at least it was a little, a little thing so I wasn't gonna get a bad headache. <laughs> oh, last year's stress was by far my favorite. You know, Nardos here in Dallas, she's a local designer, made that in 24 hours for me. So she like went to town sewing all night and made that dream dress for me. And I was like in heaven in it. Um, we, well, we actually are separated behind door, like behind the stage. So we really eat lunch by ourselves. We don't see each other because we want to make sure everything is said together. So, you know, sometimes it gets a little lonely when we're back there, you know, waiting to go back on on set. So it's a a little lonely back there. But then once we get all together, it's exciting. Which housewives would win in football? Beverly Hills or Dallas? Uh, Well, I kind of think they might take us down. Defend. Because I think they work out a lot more than we do over here in Texas. So I think they would be a lot quicker and a lot faster. I would say Brandy would be a great team captain, just with her past of being a cheerleader and, you know, she's been team captains before. So I thought she'd be, I think she'd be a great team captain. Ooh, okay. And that's a really great one. I would probably say Teresa from New Jersey because she did her whole, um, you know, weightlifting and bodybuilding show and she probably is really strong 
and I would take her because I think she would help our team win for sure. I don't really feel like anyone would play dirty. I feel like we're all, we pretty much go all by the rules usually. I would say Deandra probably could talk some smack to the other team for us. We've seen you finish your castmates leftovers when they storm off at dinner. Whose leftovers would you rather not eat? Brandy's or Deandra's? Mm, probably Deandra's. Defend. So I would definitely refuse to eat Deandra's leftovers because she usually orders exotic food and I usually never want to eat the food she orders. So I would leave Deandra's there. Well, the girls never eat half the time because they you know, we always have some drama at the table and I'm usually hungry and they usually run off and start more drama. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to eat before I add myself to that drama. At least I have fuel inside me. Because if, if I'm hangry, then I, I can get a little crazy. So don't want hangry to come out. I just defended myself, but don't forget to tune in to Real Housewives of Dallas and we're excited to show you season five. Looks like the verdict's in. But what do you think? Defend yourself in the comments below.